bit of resets. Speaking of denial, Peanut wants to actually kill ADD and give Mundo an even freer time. Yep, he's going to run in as well. ADD does grab his shield, but now it's just a 1v1 between the Trundle and the Kami. Different climate on the map this time around. Things just slowing down a little ADD bit. ADD is actually taking the skill matchup and putting a lot of hurt onto Ian. Seeing if Sejuani can answer. Ult's going to come down. That's a pretty easy one to land, but the stopwatch is invested. Instant teleports come in from both of these top laners as Yondu has to flash to get himself out of the way. Max has arrived. Stand United certainly good for that, but Yondu is surrounded. Destroyed. First blood at 15 minutes is going to go to BDD and ADD. He's sitting on the an eye. Ten people show up in the mid lane. The action doesn't go super to the side of Kingzone, but they do get a kill, and this would be a nice addition. Yep, ADD does get does himself. Still in the way of Kingzone, and Peanut trying to take this uh, Rift Herald, but the fight's on. Yep, and uh -oh. it's going to be BDD making his way in trouble. Bubble spells the end of the Sejuani. See you later, buddy. That's Is it the going to be the Infernal number three? Oh, 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 oh and no! And it's not. No! Oh, they're going to be so tasty. How do they let me down again, King Zone? so tasty when it's free. Oh. You never have a fight where he has that passive going. Otherwise, you're going to lose real hard MVP. His MVP is being pincered. Yep, they're looking to try and lose really hard right now, as well as BDD is going to jump his way forward. Glacial Prison just to slow the inevitable defeat of MVP in this team fight because Maha is not long for the world. All the summoner spells are going to be used. Ian comes down and gets some work done, but BDD gets rid of the Morgana and Stand United used very defensively under the turret. Ian now not sure he can really do anything as the ult comes in onto Prey, but he can't get it. The Camille? Yeah, okay. Hookshot comes in over the wall and now Hextech Ultimatum is going to get whipped by BDD, but he's going to fall down anyway. Not even going to find the trouble bubble and MVP they makes his way in, but now... They're behind the pit. They're taking a lot of damage. And this is this. one hell of a 50-50 is Khan. He can just walk in there. They're tanking the Baron. He's happy to set up for this. Peanut just wanders into range of the smite, and there's not going to be a lot that they can do about it. Ian flashes out, not going to be able to offer his damage, as that's going to be MVP taking the Baron. But will they be able to survive? Maha, he's well and truly dead. For us, but I'm excited to give him benefit of the doubt as Khan throws down the Sadism. He's just about this one. regening all of his health. Max comes in. Not exactly offering very much damage, and uh, yeah, Khan's ultimate is now on cooldown for the next, what, 30 seconds? Uh, if you are a Kingzone fan, they need to hear about it, as uh, Honda's probably okay. Yeah, Khan doesn't really need to hear about it, as uh, Teleport's gonna come in, he's gonna get some more attention, and right now he just straight up doesn't care. Chains of Corruption fly forward, ADD, he is free food, and if you waste your time trying to kill Amundo, you best believe that Kingzone's gonna punish you for it. BDD now on the outskirts of the fight. It's a good stun to come in from Ian, but now the cleanse is on cooldown and Maha, they're just going front to back. Straight forward goes the Kingzone train. That one they're just there's a sweet hat on the Zoe. Oh, good God, this is getting real worrying. Another Infernal Drake. That's triple Infernal as well as Ooh. the Cloud is BDD. He's gonna get stunned, but he doesn't care. Portal jump. Certainly pretty good at that one. ADD is going to get out. He didn't actually get any information of that at all. Oh, they know it started. But, oh. uh, you know, what can you do? They're not going to be able to see the health bar, though. Max is going to make his way over, but he doesn't have a smite. Didn't have the spell book or anything Mundo. like that. As, uh, yeah, okay, this is uh, what we wanted to see. We wanted to see whether Khan would actually take any damage. How much health is that? Portal Jump thankfully gets him back out of that one yet again. An MVP, you're going to have to pull a trigger or something relatively soon as, oh, Stand United used after the flash. That is not what you want to see from MVP. And the first Nexus turret is going to fall. They're not even going to deal with this mid lane inhibitor turret. And it looks like Kingzone are closing the doors on MVP for this series. Maha explodes. And they are just moving forward. This Mundo, nothing they can do. Prey, unfortunately, is going to get taken down, potentially to his GA. But no, that's not going to happen. And Max is just going to get auto-attacked to death. The Nexus will follow. And King's Own Dragon X have bounced back from Rift Rivals and taken down MVP in our last series of the night. Dr. Mundo gaining 545 health per tick lets you know that this game went out of order pretty early. King's Own Dragon X, first game Kurz, second game Peanut, no change in the result.